still doubt God's love for you? A blessed celebration of the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Since it was the day of preparation, the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, especially because that Sabbath was a day of great solemnity. So they asked Pilate to have the legs of the crucified men broken and the bodies removed. Then the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and of the other who had been crucified with him. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and at once blood and water came out. He who saw this has testified so that you also may believe. His testimony is true, and he knows that he tells the truth. These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, They will look on the one whom they have pierced. If we need any assurance that God will not spare anything in order to save us, this episode on Calvary says it all. St. Paul sums up its meaning in a single Greek word, kenosis, pouring out everything to the point of becoming empty. Such is the love of God personified in Jesus Christ. He emptied Himself of glory to become Emmanuel, God's presence in our midst. Walking with us the rugged and perilous paths of life, sharing our brokenness and liability to death. Jesus, now lifeless on the cross, after a long agonizing torture, still pours forth blood and water. Not even death can restrain him from totally emptying himself out so that God's saving grace may fill us. Let us pray. Lord, wash away with the blood and water from your pierced side whatever doubts still remain in our hearts that God loves us. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. 
grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline Family Year of the Word of God from November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021 with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yes.